Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about Stellar Blade and the main character's backside and the controversy around Stellar Blade and how it's actually helping sales. Phenomenal pre orders. Apparently, we're talking it's number two ahead of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and some other uh, major PS5 titles coming out. For those of you who don't know what Stellar Blade is, uh, it looks like it's an action RPG from a company called Shift Up. And there's been a lot of controversy about it because of the characters, the main character's backside. She's pretty bootylicious. And uh, we've had some uh, media outlets and some forums calling for a boycott because we can't have sexy ladies in video games anymore. They all have to be flat chested and man like. Uh, that has been the tendency. But apparently, they're like, no, you know what? Uh, sex appeal sells and if you're going to look at the backside of a woman for many hours while playing this game uh they wanted to give you something to look at so that's what we're going to talk about and it has definitely helped the sales i think the controversy and the calls for boycotts uh have definitely helped the sales just like hogwarts legacy let's talk about this guys uh please give us a sub if you haven't done so already wherever you have found this episode at so Let's uh, go out to The Gamer. The Gamer, the uh, website that was calling for a boycott of Hogwarts Legacy, is actually giving a pretty fair overview of why this, uh, why this game is so controversial. Why is Stellar Blade's design so controversial? Stellar Blade's character model is in the spotlight given Shift Up's history, but the matter is more complicated than some would suggest. I don't think it's very complicated. Uh, Stellar Blade features an attractive female lead, Eve, but that's nothing new. While gamers are often vocally critical, when a woman like a lawyer, Ellie, doesn't conform to their ideal vision of femininity, most female characters in games, like most actors, are hot people. Stellar Blade is not breaking the mold here, and yet it seems to have suddenly become controversial despite being relatively well-received when it showcased a lengthy trailer at Sony State of Play last week. Part of the controversy was set up by the director, who spoke to Games Radar via a translator. Translator. But the statement makes a lot of sense. Honestly, when I play a game, I would like to see someone who is better looking than myself. That's what I want. I don't want to see something normal. I want to see something more ideal. I think that is very important in a form of entertainment. This is, after all, entertainment targeted for adults. So then that was taken to mean like, this is for, this is for perverts. This is for people who are, just want to look at this woman's booty. Uh, so... The gamer goes on to say it's an adult-oriented game, but not explicit. And for a game with heightened action and colorful explosions, being grounded and gritty is not part of the aesthetic. Uh, they said they recently compared it to an Xbox 360 game in the way that values form over function in the lead character model is an extension of that. What is wrong with that? Those games were great. People like that. That's why they get so upset when a game is remade or reissued for modern audiences and they decide that they want to take the characters and change them to look more realistic. Because we don't want people to feel bad about the fictional video game characters. And it's not just video games, it's everything. Comic books and TV and, you know, it, it's escapism. It's escapism. But then, of course, you know, the gamer has to be the gamer. And they're like, it's important to note that appreciation for hot people can soon turn creepy. Maybe people are seeing red flags that I'm missing, and I'll be back here in a few months discussing how Stellar Blade feels like a dated step backwards in its depiction of women. Uh, maybe if your site doesn't get shut down first. But right now, it just seems like a character who's designed to be attractive. She's still covered up in her costume. So the complaint that the game is too explicit and being marketed to sex-addicted perverts is off the mark too. But there is a note in yellow on the gamer. Note, Shift Up is also known for, was it Nike Goddess of Victory? A gotcha game infamous for sexualized depiction of anime characters. So there is baggage here, despite Stellar Blade's toned down approach. So <laughs> let's let's go out to NeoGAF of all places. And we're gonna take a look at the sales. How has the controversy, how has the controversy helped uh, the sales of Stellar Blade? So as of Friday. As revealed by the studio itself, this thread says, in the ranking of pre-order games on the American PSN, Stellar Blade is in second place as the best seller behind only uh, Major League Baseball The Show, 
This means the game is ahead of other big titles such as Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Dragon's Dogma 2, which have a release date even closer than Stellar Blade. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because I, I thought FF7 Rebirth was probably the most hyped Sony exclusive at this point. Uh, this person says, we'll be doing my part soon enough. Once it reaches PC, I will do my part as well. It says Grey Child. Uh, the last time Reset Era boycotted a game, it became the best-selling game of the year. Let's keep that trend. That would probably be Hogwarts Legacy. Again, I am thinking this game is going to go down like Hogwarts Legacy, where we had a certain uh, sect of game journos and activists and, uh, you know, unusually loud Twitter people calling for a boycott and it actually just helped sell the game. The reason I heard of it was because of the controversy. Like, I didn't even know this game was a thing. I wasn't really paying attention. We have two PS5s, actually. Kids each have one. I don't play the PS5 very much. I really don't. I'm more of a PC gamer, and I play my Switch. And I've got, I've got an old N64 I play. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I play emulation. I play, you know, a lot of older stuff. I have my mini consoles, all that. But um, I don't really pay, uh, pay any attention to PS5 for the most part until this game was announced. Then I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, there's a controversy around this game. What's the big deal? And it's like, oh, okay, so she looks like a game character from about 15 years ago. And the problem is what exactly? So this was kind of interesting. And since we haven't talked about this game on the channel, it all apparently uh, shift up fired some people working on the game because they were feminist activists. So they were complaining about this character is about Eve's backside. And this is what kicked off or started to kick off the boycott. Fun fact, the person shift up fired was a contractor that happened to be a feminist complaining about fan service. And it happened during the shareholder negotiations of Tencent. It said the thread boycott Stella Blade. The company that made the game shift up removed the work of two women because they were feminist. I'm a victim and former employee of this game company, says Gaming uh, Rukiana. But uh, yeah, so they are actively rooting out people from their company that are trying to destroy the game from within. And I have to tell you, a lot of, a lot of the uh, layoffs in the video game industry you know, part of it, I think, is downsizing. Part of it, I think, is right-sizing it. Part of it, I think, is this. I think they are actively rooting out people that are causing problems at the company and complaining loudly about non-issues and costing them money. They're like, great, we can use the economy as an excuse to get rid of people that we probably should have gotten rid of five or six years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think is actually going on. I think they're like, yeah, you know, uh, gamers will will buy a game where this uh, hot girl has has a big, delicious booty. I think that's on the back of the box description. Uh, you yeah, know, but I'm saying like that's what they that's what they want. That's why gamers liked uh, Laura Croft originally, and then they made her look just like uh, uh, next door, the girl next door, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it, it doesn't it doesn't work as well for most gamers, and. Uh, it doesn't mean there's sex perverts. It doesn't mean it's just like, look, if you're going to be staring at this character for a while, it's just like any other escapism. You want the character to be an idealized version of a person. It's a video game, right? You want somebody to be super hot. So women play the Final Fantasy game. Speaking of Final Fantasy, because they like Zack and they like Cloud. And they like Sephiroth, you know, as femme as he is. But that's that's part of the appeal, I think, for a lot of a lot of women. So I'm just saying it makes sense. But um, yeah, it looks like they're going to stay the course. I think they're going to sell a lot of copies. And I think this is going to be another step toward course correction in video games. That and Hogwarts Legacy selling very well, despite gaming journos trying to destroy the game. Same with this one. Uh, so good luck. Good luck. Just, you know, if you don't like the game, don't buy it. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Please subscribe for more gaming news. I'll talk to you later.